everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have an amazing time together. So what are we learning about today, David? We're learning about Lent because we're in the season of Lent. One of the other seasons that we celebrate is Advent and we all celebrate with Advent calendars as we open a box each day in the run up to Christmas. Well, what's the holiday at the end of Lent, Julia? Easter. It's Easter, of course it is. And we've got 40 days that we remember we're going to open 40 flaps in the run up to Easter. Well, can you find box number one? Here it is, it's down in the bottom. And we've got a picture of sand. Where do you find sand? You find sand, of course, in a beach. You also find it in the desert. And in Lent, we remember that the Israelites, God's people, were in the desert for 40 years. Now, can you find box number two? Where is box number two? Oh, I think I've just found it again. Ooh. We've got a picture of Jesus and Satan. Jesus was in the desert for 40 days being tempted by the Satan. So before we get any further, we're now going to have some actions with Joe. Let's, let's hear from Joe now. Hello everyone, up you that and find a big space because we're going to do some activities and the first one we're going to do is marching. So march on the spot or march around the room and we're marching just like the Israelites did for 40 years when they were looking for the promised land. All of that time, that whole 40 years, God provided for them. In fact, he gave them bread. It came down from heaven. Bread from heaven. Bread from heaven. Bread from heaven. Hmm. It landed on the floor though, and they had to collect it from the floor. This special bread was called manna. So, have your legs straight and gather the manna from the floor. Gather the manna. Two more times. Mmm, yummy manna. After a while, they said, but we want some meat as well. And God sent them quails. Quails are like chickens. And we need to catch them. So, catch the quail. Catch the quail. Catch the quail. Catch the quail. Lent is also a time when we think about Jesus and how he spent 40 days in the desert. When he was in the desert, he had to climb to the top of the temple. I wonder how fast you can climb. <laughs> Keep going! Climb that temple! <laughs> climb the temple. And when he got to the top, he had to fight temptation. So let's do some fighting. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Should we do some kicking too? Kick, kick. See how high you can make your kicks go. Kick, kick. In both of those stories, where we remember, which we remember at Lent, God provided everything. God provided everything. So we do a big stretch and say, God provided everything. And then we're going to take a couple of deep breaths. And sit down for the rest of your activities. Thanks, Joe. We're now going to sing some songs. During this coronavirus, it's easy to be scared. But this first song reminds us that God is big and he's in charge. OK, everybody, let's stand up and sing together. Oh 
Thank you so much, Dan and Hannah. Now we're going to have a time for one of our games. This is called the tray game. Under my cloth here, I have got seven items, and you are going to try and remember all of them. Here we go. We have got a rattle, some bread, a Bible, a horse, a dinosaur, a train, and an apple. So try and remember all those things, and I'm going to remove one of them, and you have to try and guess which one has gone. Okay, let's see, what is it that's missing? Can anybody guess? I think some of you have, and here it is, it was the horse. Well done. Great, well now we're going to go and have our Bible story now. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. 
All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. Well, let's open box number three. Let's see what we've got. Can you find box number three? Here it is. We've got an apple. Can you remember someone who was tempted by a piece of fruit? That's right. It was Eve in the Garden of Eden. The devil tempted her and said, why don't you eat the fruit and you'll be like God? God has said, don't do it. But she disobeyed God. She gave in to temptation. Let's find box number four and open up and see what we've got. Can you find box number four? Here we are. What have we got? Ooh, got a chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake. We've just been reading a story called Matilda. And there's a boy who's tempted by chocolate cake. He's called Bruce Bogtrotter. He eats a slice of the headmistress's special chocolate cake. He gave in to temptation. Can anyone find box number five? Where is box number five? What have we got? Here it is. Got a white flag. We wave white flags when we give up, when we, we decide we're not going to go on any further. And it's symbolic that we all give in to temptation. We all give up. Well, when Eve made the wrong choice by eating the apple, and she didn't do what God has said, she ruined her friendship with God. And the Bible's word for this is sin. Even though we've done wrong like Eve, God wants to restore and make new our friendship. So how does God do solve this problem? Let's look at box number six. Where is box number six? Here it is. We've got Jesus defeating Satan. After 40 days in the desert, Jesus didn't give in to temptation. He won the battle. Unlike Eve, unlike Bruce Bogtrotter, unlike us, Jesus didn't give in to temptation. He won it. Lent is a picture of a bigger battle between Jesus and the devil. And at Easter, Jesus wins the battle. Okay, great. Now we're going to learn our memory verse. It is from Hebrews 4, 15. And it is, Jesus was tempted in every way just as we are, but he did not sin. Can we do that one again? Jesus was tempted in every way, just as we are, but he did not sin. Hebrews 4, 15. Right, now we're going to have a craft, so let's head over to Francesca. Hello, I'm Francesca, and I've got a fun and simple craft for you all to do, and all you need is some sellotape and a pair of scissors. You'll also need these two sheets. And once you've got those, the first thing you're going to do is take this sheet, which has got the three ovals on it, and you're going to cut those ovals out. When you've done that, you'll be left with these three. And these three images represent the ways that the devil tried to tempt Jesus in the wilderness. Now, if we look at this one, the first time Satan went to Jesus, he showed him some stones and he said to Jesus, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. And Jesus must have been really hungry after 40 days of fasting. But he replied, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The second time that the devil went to see Jesus, he took him to the roof of a really high temple, right at the top, and stood there. And he said to Jesus, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down and the angels will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You won't even fall to the ground and hurt yourself, he was saying. But Jesus replied, do not put the Lord your God to the test. The third time that Satan went to see Jesus, he took him to a high mountain 
and he showed him all the kingdoms and splendors of the world. He showed him temples and pyramids and all kinds of amazing buildings. And he said to Jesus, all this I will give you if you will bow down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And then the devil left him. So now you've got your three images and we've got to work out what we're going to do with them. So on this picture here, you can see Jesus there saying his prayers. And we're going to take each one of these images and stick them in the right place. So starting off with the bread and the stones, we get a little piece of sellotape there and we're going to stick that in the middle one here over the picture of the Bible. And then we take the picture of the temple, we get a little bit of sellotape there, and we're going to stick that on that one there. And then the last picture, the picture of all the wonders and glories of the world, we get a little bit of sellotape, and we're going to stick that there. And now what we can do is when we look at this, we can see the ways that the devil tempted Jesus. And then when we open the flap, we can see what Jesus replied to them. Now, this looks a bit plain. So what you can do is you can colour it in like this. And then all of the empty white spaces around the outside, you can decorate however you like. This one has got some wild animals and some angels in it. And we know that, that in the Bible it says that when Jesus was in the wilderness, he was with wild animals and angels came to minister to him. Now, I don't think there were crocodiles and elephants and giraffes, but there were probably lions. But you can draw whatever you like in there and colour it. And then when you've finished, I've got a challenge for you. What I want you to do is lift each flap up and read the words that Jesus said underneath. If it's a bit tricky for you to read, then ask a grown-up to read it for you three times. And when you've read it, or someone's read it to you three times, close the flap and see if you can remember those words. And then do the same for the other three flaps. And then what you can do is maybe see if the grown-ups in your house can also take that challenge as well. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this craft and I look forward to having some more fun with you next time. Bye for now. Thank you, Francesca, and thanks to you for joining us. It's been great having you with us. Next week is Palm Sunday, and we're going to be looking at the story of when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. While we'd love to see photos of things you've done or made while you're at home, send in um, photos and pictures to our uh, email address below. Well, today we've been learning all about Lent. We've been learning that we give in to temptations. But we've learned that Jesus didn't in the, in the desert. And so he can deal with the problem of our sin. Well, let's close with a prayer. Maybe you want to close your eyes as we pray and close your hands as well. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, sorry that we give in to temptation. Sorry we make wrong choices and don't do what you tell us. But thank you for Jesus who beat the devil in the desert and who didn't give in to temptation. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So join us next week. Bye. Bye.